Good morning, coffee lovers. Damien here from the Pachi Coffee headquarters in Sydney. Um, we're just here with the lovely Nicole, a beautiful customer that bought this beautiful Balexa coffee machine, and she's wondering how to clean it. Okay, so we're going to just talk you through that process. Yeah, so I um, typically tell customers based on about one or two coffees a day, they should clean it every day with just water. So back flushing. Yeah. So what does that involve? So there's a seal under here that gets this handle in nice and tight. Actually, Dex, do you want to come and check out the seal from underneath? Check out the seal underneath, Dex. So basically, it's a rubber seal that locks this handle into place. So if this seal gets brittle and worn, this handle won't lock completely into place and you won't get a, a very watertight seal. And if you if you machine at home, you find that it's leaking from the back and this is on quite tight, you find that you probably need to replace your seal. So flavor-wise, showers and seals need to be replaced. All right, it's a part of the cleaning procedure. So what we do basically is just with a brush, brisk the brush, Nicole, we just go around there, now listen, when you put a coffee shot on, if you've got coffee around the group head near the basket, you always give that a wipe because that will make the seal brittle. All right, so give that coffee water filter a wipe when you put the coffee in. After that, we're gonna give this a nice brush. All right, then I'm just gonna purge out that water. And you can see coffee grounds already coming out just from that little quick brush. All right, so just with the blind filter, so the this one here, this is a naked water filter, but your filter will have a, you know, spouts, typically people at home. So that just goes on, and that just locks in the place. And what I do is I just engage that, and what that's doing is pushing pressure and water back up into the group head, just to give that clean. So I usually wait till it gets up to about nine, 10 bars, leave it on for about 10 seconds, and disengage. All right, and you can see we'll have some coffee granules in here. Yeah, that's pretty basic looking. Now, you know, this mm. machine is just for demonstration, so depending on coffee use. Um, and then what I do is I like to um, not put it on all the way, the handle, lock it in tight, but I like to give that a little wiggle as well while the water's pouring. Just be careful of the water. And then I turn that off. Just be mindful that once this is locked on and you engage that pressure, do not take that off because the pressure will pop off. It's quite dangerous. All right, so if I'm making three or four coffees a day, I like to do this just with water every day. Based on those volumes, then I would use the Evo Cavetto chemical cleaner. This is the Cavetto Evo espresso coffee machine cleaner. So this is a one kilo size. We have a 500 gram size at the Pachi as well that you can buy. This is what all the commercial coffee houses are using to clean their espresso, espresso machines. Um, made in Australia, which is a good point that I like, um, and totally organic. So no harsh chemicals used. Um, another thing that I like is that um, it's got the instructions here on how to use it. Love it. So you don't really need me. You can just read this. So put that in, quarter teaspoon. Okay. That's about it. And then I just basically repeat the procedure. And I do that about five or six times. So about 10 seconds, I let it run, get up to about 10 bars of pressure. Let it run for about 10 seconds. And then I repeat that process about five or six times. And you'll see this will be a bit frothy inside. This is the way it's cleaning. You can see how that's dissolving and it's going back up into the root head. And it gives it a good clean. And, and you know, your coffee will taste a lot better once this is clean. Just be very mindful. Once you finish this procedure, you need to season the machine with some fresh coffee so you don't get that chemical flavor coming through your first coffee. It doesn't taste good. Thanks, Nicole, for letting us use your machine to clean this, uh, demonstrate with this uh, great product here. And uh, see you next time, guys. Head into uh, kipatrick.com.au to buy anything and uh, check us out on Instagram. See you later.